Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronis with Anatra and in this one I'll show you guys how to edit your outdoor images or how to do your skin retouching for outdoor images in Photoshop. So basically we're going to first of all do the adjustments to this raw image and as you can see I already I took this image rather using a Canon 6D camera and I took it at ISO 200 using an 85 millimeter lens at f2.8 and at 1 out of 640th of a second so this is the raw file as you can see right now and I've not done any adjustment and the lighting setup I used for this very image I used a Godox 8600 BM in a 120 centimeter octa box so this is the image I took and I took it using a one light setup so what I'll do to do the raw file adjustments to this image I'm going to leave the profile to Adobe color because I already love the colors in this image the way they are and now I'm going to come to the highlights and just knock it to around 38 because I want to recover this blown up sky I'm also going to do the same for my white star on negative 15 I think that is fine then I'm also going to come to the shadows and simply knock it at around 17 and since I feel like the image has so much magenta in it I'm just going to simply turn down my tinge a little bit around 6 towards the green side which is the opposite of magenta so I'm just going to go with around 4 4 can do for this image and I'm going to come all the way down to my HSL panel so I want to play around with the green color so that uh, the image can really pop and really stand out so I'm going to come to the greens of this image and I'm going to come to the hue option and I'm going to push the green towards uh, the aquas or the blue side so so that this image can really stand out so I'm just going to go around let me take it all all the way to 100 and I think this looks nice and I'm going to come to the saturation and now drop down the greens because I want that kind of muted green look to this image I'm going to go all the way down and mute down the green color in the image and I'm also going to drop down the yellows just like that so that the image can really look nice and really stand out so i just want the subjects to stand out in this particular case so i'm going to come back to my tint and i'm just going to push it more towards the green side just like that because right now i had so much magentas and i think that is fine for this very nice and beautiful image so i'm going to come and do some little bit of eye and teeth whitening to these subjects right here i'm going to come to the adjustment brush tool and since we have color in the white area of the eye i'm going to simply push my temperatures towards uh, the blue side because i want to eliminate the yellows in the white area of the eye and since i want to eliminate some green switch i embedded in the white area of the eye i'm going to simply move it towards uh, the magentas which is the opposite of green towards 67 and I'm also going to push up my highlights to around 5 and my whites too and now since I want to eliminate color from this white area of the eye I'm just going to take down the saturation to around negative 62 don't take it all the way down just do a little bit and just start so I'm basically left clicking and painting over the white area of the eye just like that so I want to do some little bit of teeth whitening and I think uh, this looks nice and okay so just whiten that area too so I think I've done a, a nice job so let me just uh, whiten the teeth of this beautiful baby right here so I'm just I think that looks nice and amazing so I'm just going to simply open the image into Photoshop uh, so that you can do skin retouching uh, to this particular image so 
here we are right now in Photoshop. I'm going to first of all crop the image in a ratio of 45. So simply come and select this and crop the image into a ratio of 45 because I want to eliminate this uh, blown out highlight or sky right there. So I'm just going to crop it in just like that and hit enter. So right now we're going to be doing skin retouching. So the very first thing I want to do, we want to eliminate the uh, blemishes from uh, the subject's face or body or skin. I'm going to first of all create a copy out of the background by hitting Ctrl or Command J. And this time around I'm just going to come to uh, the patch tool and zoom in. So how the patch tool works, you basically left click and draw over the blemish and move that selection. So you left click and move it to a clean area to get rid of that blemish from that particular area. So let me just clean up this before we do the skin retouching. Remember to always do uh, the removal of blemishes before you can even do any skin retouching uh, to your images in Photoshop because this is one of the most essential processes of skin retouching. So you may be wondering why I'm emphasizing more on this because every time you leave out blemishes in the images, uh, people don't take you uh, to be a serious retoucher. So always make sure that you uh, do the blemish removal before you can do any skin retouching to uh, your images in Photoshop. So I think uh, that is fine for the blemish removal. And I'm just going to merge these layers by hitting Shift Command E. I'm going to come to my actions. And for those interested in how to create your own actions for skin retouching in Photoshop, I'm going to put the link for you right above there. So since I'm dealing with a 16-bit image, I'm going to come and play my uh, frequency separation 16-bit action. I'm just going to hit the play button. And since this is a full body image, I'm going to look for the area that has more details in this particular case and move this radius. So you left click on this slider and move up to a point when you're losing out on the details in the skin area. So I think at round five, I've lost out on all the details in the skin area and simply hit OK. So the action has finished playing. So right now what I want to do, I'm going to come to, I'm going to close this, come and select my mixer brush tool. So simply right click and come to my mixer brush tool and select my low frequency layer and now hit command plus to zoom in. And when you select a mixer brush tool, always make sure it is a, it is a clean brush. You select the second option because you don't want the brush to carry any color in it when you are trying to blend or even out the skin tones in this image. Wetness is 9, load 75, mix 90 and the flow 100. Make sure sample all layers is not checked because you want to work on this low frequency layer and increase on the size and blend. So I'm basically left clicking and uh, dragging up and down depending on the area I'm trying to blend or even out the tones. So just do that and you can as well work with out the black and white layer. So let me just turn it off because it seems to be a little bit uh, distracting for uh, full body images. So just come and even out the skin tone. So I'm basically evening out these tones so that we have a nice and smooth or a seamless transition uh, between the skin tones in this particular image. So hold down the space bar to and click to move to a different area and just continue evening out uh, the tones. So for full body images, you're going to notice that I use more of a mixer brush tool and I use less of the lasso tool method when I'm trying to even out the tones in these full body images. So let's just do that. So I'm going to zoom into the face because this is more of a smaller area 
I'm just going to zoom in and even out the tones. And when you're doing this, make sure you blend uh, the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone. And don't uh, move from one area of the skin to another. If at all that area has a different tonal value or lighting condition, I should say. So you can see we have this kind of a cheekbone right here. I'm just going to blend those shadows there alone and blend this mid-tone here and I have a highlight right here. So basically that is what I'm trying to do. So I have a highlight and I have that kind of mid-tone right there. So everywhere you have, you have to take your time while trying to even out these tones in those particular areas. I'm sorry about the noise. So let's just do that quick and we are going to uh, get uh, done with this tutorial because I think uh, the noise outside is a little distracting. So let's just blend those tones. And when we are done, we're just going to go straight into the further color grading process for this particular image. And we are going to be calling that a day or a wrap for this very tutorial. So let's see what we have done so far. So let me just reduce on the size. So you have to keep on uh, playing around with the size of the Mr. Brush tool by using the brackets on the keyboard to either zoom in or increase on the size or decrease on the size of the Mr. Brush tool. So let's zoom out and we see what we have done uh, for the Mr. Brush tool process before, after, before, after. So you can as well get rid of this highlight by simply uh, dragging color from the areas close to this harsh highlight and just dragging it in uh, to have a really nice transition so let's say before after before after and we have we have not done like so much uh, to or for the skin retouching of this particular image so i think that is enough for skin retouching so come and click on the black and white layer and now delete it and close the frequency separation. You can see it before and after for this particular image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my selective color option and I'm going to first of all reduce on the amount of the magentas in uh, the reds. So just take it down and reduce on the amount of the magentas in this particular case. And now come to the blacks and simply intensify on the blacks to around, I'm just going to go with around three. And now move it towards the yellow side because I want that kind of nice cinematic look to the image you can see the before and after. And it has really changed the mood and vibe of this particular image. So let me zoom out. So I feel like the image is a little bit are too warm for my liking. I'm just going to come to the photo filter option and I'm going to simply camp the cooling filter 82 and simply reduce on the density of uh, the warmth of this particular uh, portrait. So I'm just going to go with around four. So you can see what the cooling filter has added uh, onto this particular image. So I think that looks okay. So right now we want to export or save this image the best way so that it doesn't have a color change or a color shift after it has been posted maybe on social media or put onto a different device. I'm just going to simply come to file and come to export. Come to export as and I'm going to uh, get this window opened into my Photoshop. And after doing that, I'm going to first of all select the format for my image, which is uh, a JPEG as usual. I'm going to leave the image size details the way they are and make sure I select a uh, resample from Bicubic Automatic to Bicubic Sharper because I want a really sharp image after exporting. And if at all you don't want the image to change in color after you have been able to save it or after doing the skin retouching always make sure to select or check convert to srgb and also embed the color profile into uh, your image 
and after doing all that i'm going to simply come to export and when you hit export you can rename the image uh, to whatever you want so i'm just going to name this ronix ronix photography and i'm going to select the folder where i want to save the image which is my desktop for this case and i'm going to simply click save in order to save that image in that particular location or folder on my computer so basically this has been a show of how to edit or retouch your outdoor images in photoshop so let's say before and after overall so this is the image initially before after before and after yeah and if at all you have loved this story don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and I'll see you in it and I try and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating